Through drought and famine, natural disasters, my baby has been around for me. Kingdoms have fallen, angels be calling. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing okay and everyone is doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to take my black DY hair to this really nice brown, bouncy chocolate. Oh, let me know what I'm showing you. know, this kind of hair is <laughs> you know what I'm showing I'm going to basically be showing you how I was able to go from jet black to this hair colour. And in all honesty, I'm very, very, very happy with the results. Like, I've got dark brown, I've got light brown, I've got medium brown, I've got... Mm. If you do go through my videos, you will know the majority of the videos that I have, I'm either wearing jet black or I'm wearing colour 1B, literally. But I really, really, really like this colour and I'm basically going to show y'all how I was able to get it. Okay, so you can achieve it too and we can be slaying together. So guys, please do sit back, relax with your snacks, okay? And I really hope you enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started guys. I actually haven't done a voiceover in ages, so we're gonna have some fun, okay? Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're actually gonna comb through the hair and this is just to ensure that we don't have any knots whilst we're actually bleaching the hair and just to get the hair prepared for the bleach overall to be honest. So just combing through the hair and getting rid of all the tangles. Next, you're going to need a hair coloring brush, a comb. You're also going to need some powdered bleach. You're going to need some peroxide to mix with that powdered bleach. And I was actually running low, so I had to use a few more extra bottles that I found at home. On top of that, you're going to need some large hair clips just so that you can section the hair and lastly you're going to need a large paddle brush now what you're going to do is you're going to actually pour the powdered bleach into a container and then you're going to add the peroxide this bit is very 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 crucial because you need to make sure that you actually get a very good paste so that you can distribute it evenly across the hair so what you want to do is you want to make sure that your paste is not too runny but that it also isn't too thick I actually started to section the hair and put the bleach in vertical strokes across the section so that I was able to keep track of how the hair was colouring and also able to have different dimensions of the brown. So that's literally what I'm doing. I'm literally grabbing different sections, I'm combing through it and then I'm adding the bleach in vertical lines. As you guys can probably see, I actually started off wearing gloves and then I took the gloves off because I was uncomfortable. Do not do that, okay? My fingers were literally on fire and they actually burnt. So um, yeah, I would recommend making sure you have gloves because we are mixing chemicals, boo, okay? Chemicals. So after around 30 to 35 minutes, I actually started to see the hair lighten to my desired shade of brown and also different shades of brown. So I had some lights, I had some darks and I was very happy with it. So I decided to wash the hair with a purple shampoo which actually gets rid of brassiness in dyes and in bleach hair and avoid you getting you know that orange look unless you're looking for the orange look but I wasn't looking for that so um, I ended up using a purple shampoo and I literally washed their hair and then let it air dry till the following morning so guys it is the following morning well <laughs> The afternoon it's like three o'clock um do not actually watch my hair like if you see these pepper grains when I tell you my hair is due for a wash a condition a trim girl girl but um yeah guys so this is the wig and it came out like quite a nice brown color it's actually very nice it's got some high browns got some low browns you know got some dark some light you know um, some chocolate or whatever so what i did was i actually added a few bendy rollers because i wanted to see how the hair actually curls up and i also tried my best to like pluck the front of the hair to try and make it look like a frontal but it's a closure do you know what i mean <sighs> okay oh <laughs> When I come closer, you can see like the true brown of it. Like this, is what I mean. Like we got dimensions, girl. We got dimensions. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take random chunks and run my straightness through them. So I'm literally just adding a few curls through this hair with my hair straightness, just to give it some volume and to also give it some body, and you know, just make it look cute all around. Okay, girl. Okay. None of that could ever I want to see how this fit curled up. Oh, <laughs> so cute! Oh wow, 
that straightened really quick. I also use some got to be spray just to kind of get rid of the flyaways and to also flatten down the hair. And hair is the final product and guys I absolutely love this hair and I don't actually know why I haven't tried colour before because it was something new for me and even after bleaching the hair as you can see the hair is still soft and it is also bouncy but I really want to thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you guys did enjoy this video all details on the hair will be in the description box and please do make sure you do try this at home as well because it actually was not hard at all apart from the burning hands it was fine okay but yeah I want to thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys did enjoy this video please you take care stay blessed and i shall see you in my next one bye